Hi, this is Mr. Barfield, and I'm going to read There's a Locket in My Pocket by Dr. Seuss. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a Nero in your bureau? Or a wasset in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerton in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a zlock behind the clock. And that zell up on that shelf, I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp, and they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot, but that yachtle in the bottle, some are friendly, some are not. I like the zabel on the table and the gear under the chair, but that bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. All those nubbards in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But that toothbrush on my toothbrush, him, I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that vug under the rug. And that Quimney up the chimney, I do not like him, not at all. And it makes me all sort of nervous when the Zal scoots down the hall. But the yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have about. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the Teller and the Neller and the Geller and the Deller and the Beller and the Weller and the zeller in the cellar. And the geeling on the ceiling and the zower in my shower. And the zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it. That's the kind of house I live in and I hope we never leave it. The end.